Good morning. I don't know if retrograde is ending. I'm not big on the dates, but I just know the time frames. Okay, but I do know the past is here. That's the overall energy for today, the past. So something happened, right? Or something you guys are closing out. Something's going on for us personally. All of us that are chosen to heal, going through whatever we're going through. We're called to come back to this past energy many times because there's, all, there's always more to learn right and how do we continue going forward if we don't know what we need to know from our past right so what a lot of people are learning on their spiritual journey right now is that it's a back and forth back and forth back and forth right and that back and forth comes in because the healing journey is not linear it's not we move forward then we have to get thrust back into a time to heal it so we can get pushed forward that's the spiritual journey okay so a lot of you guys are coming into revelations right now 29 breaks down to the number 11 okay 11 breaks down to the number two the number two is the high priestess card. So you guys listen to your intuition because this is how these messages are going to be coming to you. Spirit team, you see this person in the smoke? Some of you guys are able, let me see. Can, we, can I see it? Some of you guys are able to see like figures and stuff. Like I'm seeing lightning, trees, a person, and smoke. All right, some of you guys can read smoke. That's a new gift as well. Whatever that means for you, the past is clearing. Okay, here we go. What's going on on Mother Earth right now, Mother Gaia? right, is that it is time for the collective, right, to focus, to focus on mastering their selves, right? So right now what the collective is going through overall is the collective is clearing the past, getting revelations on the past that they can use to guide them forward because the collective is now entering a period of prosperity with this mastery here, breaking down to the number nine, talks about ending of cycles. Why? Because the Most High says the future is now. We keep talking about, we're talking to the seers, the healers, right? The ones who have been talking about and receiving all these beautiful revelations of what's to come. Spirit says a lot of you guys have mastered your gifts. You've mastered the gift of clairvoyancy, if that's a word, okay? So you need to know now that whatever it was in the past that you did see, you're about to get a revelation, okay, that it's coming to pass right now. Does that make sense? You guys, Mother Earth, Mother Gaia is saying the things that we are focusing on and mastering right now, we need to know revelation that the past is gone and those things that we took those action steps toward are now what is about to come in for us. See the vision, right? Hold the vision. A lot of energy around birds, nature, get outside and stay grounded. A lot of purple. That's a lot of crown chakra energy. Make sure you guys protect that, okay? I also see this arrow here talking about focus. Four talks about stability. The homeland, where we live. Mother Earth is where we live. So we're being tasked to focus on mastering ourselves. So this world that we live in, can be a better place for us all in the future. That's the goal. That's the focus. And that's where we're at. We're looking at the past to realize there's, there's nothing there that we are missing. We're just gathering what we need, right? So that we can master ourselves. Whatever that mastery is, so we can focus on our futures now. That's where we are as a chosen collective. So I got some angel answers for y'all today. Okay, what you guys need to know right now in these challenging times, always ask your angels, all right? Always ask your angels. They're going to always tell yes. They're going to always give you what you need. Your angels say, ask them. Lean not on your own understanding and ask them for what you need, all right? Don't be afraid. They say they're waiting on you, all right? They also say, listen to your intuition, okay? Because when you ask them a question, they're going to tell you to take action, so you ask your angels, you listen to your intuition, and then you take action. That's how us spiritual beings do it. Right now, I feel like it's a time for a lot of spiritual beings to make sure that you guys are asking your angels, your guides, your spirit team to guide you moving forward. So that way you always know that the outcome of your situations is for the highest good of you and everyone else that is involved. Okay? Okay. And that's the message that I have for you today. I'll come back on later, maybe do a, a live or something. But this looks like very, very positive energy. Lots of revelations are coming about the future by way of realizing like, whoa, I said da, 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 da in the past and this, 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 and that happened. So even though some of you guys may have had these, these crazy revelations, like you just, something came to you one day, maybe it was four or five years ago, six, seven, eight, nine years ago, whatever it is, right? And... 
you're like, okay, whatever. But since then, you've realized that you're gifted and you can see the future and this is why things happen and stuff like that. Well, now you guys are going to start to feel overjoyed, extremely happy about the future because now you realize that you have actually created that future that you desired by listening to yourself and your angels. It don't get much more divine than that, right? Have a good one.